Daddy? What? To go jam it up. I'm jamming it up. We look like I'm doing it. No. Oh, Tony Kettle's gonna love this jam. Folks, how you doing? Jesse and Lisa with Lazy Days Ahead. We're just coming to you for another collaboration that just come up and Lisa was asked to do. Jamming it, up June. That's right. And uh, we want to thank Tony Kettle for inviting Lisa to be a part of this collaboration. I'm just here for moral support. <laughs> no, I'm going to help her if I can. But uh, no, we're fixing to do a, 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 a jam called Jalapeno Pepper Jelly. Yep. Or, and or jalapeno it, it's, jelly. it's gonna be made with real jalapenos. Not that artificial stuff y'all got up north. This is the South Texas stuff right here, Bubba. This is hot, 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 hot. I guarantee. <laughs> and then also we'd like to mention a shout out to Four Jars. We'll be using our Four we're, Jars lids and bands we're, today. We're all excited about that. See how they work. I'm sure they're gonna work really, really nice. So uh, we're gonna get started here and we'll be right back in Two shakes. Okay. So I'm washing, washing my jars. And I'll be washing my, the lids and the bands also. I have the four jars of bands. And once I rinse them off, we'll dry them and they'll be ready to go. Four jars lids washing them and this is is that your dedicated brush yes my dedicated brush for my jars lids and bands only I can't use it to wash the tires on my truck <laughs> no. no so and always check your jars for any cracks or chips that will you don't want to use those have you ever found one with a crack or a chip not yet Thank God for that. Not yet. All right, what are you doing there, Lisa? I'm adding my clean jars. To hot water? To hot water. I'm going to sterilize them, sanitize, sterilize. I'm going to have to add some more water to bring it up over, but they'll have time to, to get hot. Okay, I have everything laid out. I have my utensils. It's going to be six cups of sugar, two cups of apple cider vinegar divided. My peppers, after I get them cut up, or de-seeded, cut and de-seeded and de-veined, they're gonna go into the blender and I'm gonna puree them. So, oh, and I'm using Sure Gel Certo Liquid Pectin today. 
two two uh, two packages of three ounces each. Six ounces of liquid pick. And what's in here? This is uh, white vinegar. Okay. To to wipe the rims of the jars. Okay. When I'm ready to put them in the can. Perfect. Okay, I'm fixing. <laughs> what are you about to do, Lisa? Yeah, I'm gonna cut the jalapenos, slice them, de-seed them, de-vein them, and then I'm, they're gonna go. I'm gonna weigh them. They're gonna go into the blender. I need 12 ounces of de-seeded, de-veined jalapeno peppers. I better not see you catch catch you taking a bite. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, I don't yeah. think so. We will start doing this. I don't need to do this. Yet. I feel like slicing a banana, banana right? Ooh. Use gloves because I can smell it, the heat, because you don't want to burn your fingers. So. I wonder if those things are hotter than a Texas day, at least today. <laughs> oh, well, probably. It's just as hot out today. No seeds. We're not going to leave any Ooh, seeds in. Wait, I'm standing over here. I'm about four foot away oh, and I can no. smell them. Mm, 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 mm. Can't wait. All right, well, you got a whole bunch to cut. Yeah. You're down to your last one there, huh? Yeah, last pepper. You haven't been, you haven't been eating little pieces on the side, have you? Uh, maybe. Only a couple? <laughs> no, no. It smells hot in here, Bubba. I know, you can smell it. Mm-hmm. Smells good. Who doesn't love stuffed jalapenos? Well, they're not going to be stuffed. <laughs> they're gonna, I'm going to stuff them in my belly when you're yeah. done. Mm -hmm. Let's hope so, yeah. I'm going to put them into the blender. Did you check the measure? Wait. I did. Oh, okay. 12 ounces. So I have 12 ounces of de-seeded, de-veined, oh, I'm going to try to get in there, jalapenos. Probably do it in two batches. No seeds allowed. Actually, I could probably do it all in one. So, with one cup of the apple cider vinegar. Looks like a guacamole smoothie. I know. It does, doesn't it? Twelve ounces with one cup of one cup of the apple cider vinegar. Although that will add to the prettiness. Mm -hmm. They're not very big. Okay, so I'm going to add to my saucepan. I'm going to add the puree. Ooh, that looks pretty. We're going to add the remaining cup of apple cider vinegar. And the sugar all the sugar and I'm going to turn my fire on on a high heat and we're going to bring it up to a rolling boil and we will do a rolling boil for 10 minutes stirring constantly and you put in about two teaspoons of sugar Actually, it was six cups. Oh, no. no. Yeah, this one calls for six cups of sugar. Hopefully, that, that's enough sugar to tame that heat, but because those things are hot, hot, hot. Are you making sea foam there? What are you making? Mm -hmm. That looks like sea foam green to me. Looks like avocado. Avocado smoothie. No, it looks yeah. like that green dipping uh, uh, oh. the dip we get at the restaurant. Oh, 
Guacamole. Yes. Mm, chili verde. Mm, 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 mm. But this one here lights you up. All right, Lisa, how long are you going to stir that thing? For okay. four hours? Five more minutes. Five more minutes. It's at a rolling boil. Can I see what that means? Oh, okay, I see it's, it's boiling. It's lava. Yeah. Okay, y'all, so I'd added a half a teaspoon of butter because it was really starting to foam up, and it has really cut down on the foam on this one. I recommend adding fruits and things that foam up a lot. Add a little a half teaspoon of butter, and it should help. All right, so once you finish, how much time you got left on this? Uh, three minutes and 10 seconds. And then what are you gonna do? Then we're gonna add the pectin. Okay, now, Stirred it, cooked it at a boil for 10 minutes. I'm gonna add in the pectin, bring it back to a boil. It's two, Look at that ooey gooey yeah. stuff there, boy. Two three ounce packages of liquid pectin. Good goobly goop. Have you ever tasted this? No, this is I don't very, want to. very um, tart. No, I don't want to. Almost like, um, like a lemon, almost like you're uh, no. doing lemon juice or something. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I tried it. Ask me how I know. <laughs> how do you know? Because I tried it. <laughs> and then I bring it up to a boil. Stirring, stirring constantly? Stirring constantly, yes. You don't want it to stick to the bottom or burn. You know, it still feels like it's already getting thick. You can feel it when it changes in there. Oh, because you put the sardo in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. We'll add a rolling boil. One minute. And then we will jar it up. All right. Okay, turning the fire off. Now it is time to jar up. And I'm still going to stir for just a minute. It says to skim off foam. But not much foam, so... I don't know that really. Not much to worry about, huh? Don't put your face right over the fumes. That's for sure. Not on a pepper. But you can't help it. You gotta see. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, now the fun part. Put your jar. Jar holders. I'm going to do one jar at a time. My funnel, my ladle. And because I always make a mess, I started doing this. Everything's washable, but... There's a kitchen tip just, there, folks, huh? This just helps. We're not even going to charge you for that. <laughs> and it's a quarter inch headspace. All right. About one inch still. Yeah. That's almost dead. That's almost money right there. Yeah, I, I think so. No, a little bit more. Yeah, just a hair more. A hair but... more? Why do you have to have a quarter inch? Because that book says, right? Because the book says. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's all you had to tell me, because the book says. Because the book says, okay. And then, I'm going to do my... Wait, do you have to debubble it? We had a bunch of foam. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. I mean, uh, yeah, better what, be what? safe than sorry. vinegar. I'm going to wipe my rim because this is a lot of sugar in here and they get sticky. And it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Well, that stuff looks and pretty. My lid lifter. Okay. She's got her lids over there drying. And she'll put it right on top of there. And we are, like we said earlier, using the four jars lids. Four jars lids and bands. 
put it on fingertip tight. Oh, you don't need to borrow my wrench? <laughs> fingertip tight. Okay. And and it will go for... into, back into the bath. We'll get another little sauna, huh? Fingertip tight. Okay, and it's going to go into the water bath. So now I need to bring this up to a uh, rolling boil. Okay. Once it hits the rolling boil, I will process it for 10 minutes, I believe. Let okay. me check. <laughs> yeah. When in doubt, check it when out. Doubt, that's right, check it out. So bring it up to a boil rolling boil and then we will process it for 10 minutes take it off the heat take the lid off let it rest for five minutes and then we'll be back to take them out okay people five minutes is up we're going to take them out now as much as you want to tilt them to take that water off the top don't do it it could compromise your seal so no leaning tower pieces no tilting Okay. Because oh, oh, it that one just popped, and it will evaporate. See how quick it's evaporating? Yeah. Yeah, you can't tilt it, just like you couldn't tilt those machines when you was a kid, yeah. or when we was a kid. And oh, I heard that one go. And I did have enough for one more jar. Recipe called for five, but I had enough in there for one more. Okay, this one. Did extra jar, extra jar. Look at that, people. Doesn't that look pretty? Mm, 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 mm. Can't wait to try that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Pretty green. Pretty green. So we're gonna leave these set here on the table or on the counter for 12 to 24 hours. Okay. Then tomorrow we'll check the seals, make sure they all sealed. Okay. Take the bands off, wash them, because I know that a lot of sometimes the jelly gets on the outside, gets sticky when it's in the water bath, and then we'll do a taste test. They'll get there. They're still hot, steaming hot. See a little dimple on top of that jar? It's gonna go. Boop, boop. Oh, oh you missed yep, it. I missed it. Not that one, but the other one. Don't get a poop. Come on, four jars. You can do it. You can do it, four jars. Come on. Give me a pop. Give me a pop. Go the weasel. Okay, y'all. It's the next day. Each one of them has sealed. I've taken the bands off. I've washed them. They're all good to go. Our uh, four jars, lids, did great. They look like they did yep. a good, good, awesome job. They sealed they great. They are great. Beautiful color in the jelly. Look at that color, folks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You can see Beautiful little tiny green. specks of jalapeno in there. Yeah. Wow. Can't wait to open it up. Yeah, so we're going to the list, right? The thank yous, right? Yes, we're going to okay. go now. <laughs> That's what I'm asking you, because you can edit it out. Okay, yes, you want to you wanna follow my lead. <laughs> We'd like to thank Kettle Kitchen, Tony, for allowing us or asking us to be a part of this collaboration. We in, have enjoyed watching all the other uh, videos so that's, far. That's right. And we need to go in there and watch them so we can have a chance, not us, but you guys can have a chance to win a prize every week. Yep. Watch every video, comment, like, subscribe if you like it. If you like that channel. Well, especially I mean, ours. Especially ours. Yeah, especially ours. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to thank, um, yeah, Four Jars for, actually they're giving some great prizes away. Four jars are and um, watch us on the the last day of the month. There's a uh, a live and the I believe it's Mike from Four Jars is going to be on there with Tony from Kettle Kitchen and others. I'm not sure exactly who, but so that'd be the last day in June, right? Yes. The last day in the June. Last day in June. Okay. We're going to open one up and we're going to do a taste test today. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Man, it looks good. And it gelled up really well. Perfect. 
I'm going to put some, maybe too much. So, so you're going to put, okay, you mix it in with the cream cheese? Well, I'm just, I'm just. Oh, okay, um, you're going to spread it on there and then we just put a little bit on yeah. crock, cracker, right? Yeah. Man, I can think of all kinds of things to put this stuff on, like uh, ribs, uh, pork butt, um, you know, hamburgers. That probably oh, is good on hamburgers. It smells good, too. If you like jalapeno hamburgers or ha jalapenos on your hamburgers, this is, a, this is the way of getting it on there. And you know, I'm not a real big fan of jalapenos, but I'm thinking this is gonna be really, really good. Well, one thumb or two mm. thumbs up? Two thumbs up, perfect. Flavor is really good. Not hot. But you can tell it has a little heat, right? What? Has a little uh not really okay heat i mean but you have the flavor of the jalapenos oh okay that's sounds, good sounds really good are you happy with it yes i would even eat this on toast perfect Some hamburgers maybe like jesse said pork chicken as a marinade sandwiches on, yeah, yeah as a marinade maybe yeah, this is anything really that you good. like jalapenos on. It's the flavor. Yeah. yeah, good, good flavor. Well, folks, thanks again for showing up and watching our videos. I don't know how else to help Lisa. I was here for moral support, but uh, she said she wanted me to. Oh, are you gonna let me try it too? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Lordy. Oh man, that's, that's good. It's not hot. We and could have put the cream cheese and, and, and the jalapeno dip together or jalapeno jelly. Perfect combination. Thumbs up, guys. Thank you for checking, stopping by. We hope you enjoyed our videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.